Hey guys, Mark here. It's time to review the ROG Strix Impact 2 gaming mouse. If you have not seen the unboxing video yet, uh, please go ahead and check it out on the link above. It is also provided on the description down below. In this video, it's going to be all about the ROG Strix Impact 2 and we're going to go through its specifications, features, uh, the pros and cons that I have served and the it's our sync feature with the different LED patterns. All of those will be on this video, so stay tuned, let's dive into it. Thanks for tuning in to MacB TV. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet and if you like these types of content, please hit the subscribe button, click that notification bell so you'll be updated on my latest videos. So we're going to start off with the specification of the Impact 2. The weight is at 79 grams. It is lighter than its predecessor, which is the ROG Strix Impact 1 at 91 grams. Um, the sensor is optical. The max DPI is 6200. It has five programmable buttons. Also has a uh, push fit socket design. It has three RGB light zones, which is at the logo, the mouse wheel, and on the front of the mouse. Um, it has three onboard um, memory profile, has four DPI um, levels, adjustable in the on-the-fly DPI button. It has a soft rubber cable type and the dimension is 120 by 62.5 by 39.5 millimeter. So let's move on to its features. The first one is the pivoted button mechanism. This gives the button a shorter travel distance when clicking for a quicker click. As what they advertise on their website, um, the upshot is minimal and rapid return, ensuring superb speed, um, responsiveness, and consistency with every click. The second feature is the on-the-fly DPI button. Uh, it is located on the bottom of the mouse. Um, each level has its corresponding RGB color. Um, by default, the four um, levels are 400, 800, 1600, and 3200 DPI um, levels. Um, but all of these are customizable in the ROG Armory software, which leads us to the two software that you can use. The first one I just mentioned, ROG um, Armory software, where you can customize uh, the DPI um, levels as well as the LEDs, um, the program, the buttons, it's also on the software, as well as the feature where you can record the number of clicks. So all you need to do is just go to the software and click that record button. The second one is the Armory Crate, uh, which is the newer software. But for now, it, it, the main function for that is just for the Aria Sync feature, where you can sync the LED on the devices or on your devices that has the ROG Sync enabled. The ROG Armor software also has an option to change the LEDs, but the LEDs, the LED patterns are quite limited or the Armor Crate has more LED patterns, which I will actually be showing you later. But before that, let's go ahead and go to the observations first, the pros and cons uh, that I have. Let's start with what you might not like with the ROG Strix Impact 2. Um, and that would be the on-the-fly DPI button. Um, not the button itself, but its placement actually. Um, it is at the bottom of the mouse. Um, I don't think you'll actually have time to switch the DPI level when you're like on the heat of the game or in the heat of the moment. Another con is probably with the app. Um, I mentioned two apps earlier um, where they actually could have just like used one to access all the settings and features. The ROG Armory software is the older version uh, of the Armory Crate, but you can adjust any settings yet on the Armory Crate except for the LED patterns. So you'll actually need to have both software for now to actually access all the settings and um, features that the mouse can offer. I believe they are transitioning to the Armory Crate in the future, so you'll only have to use one app. But for the meantime, you've got to have both in order to, uh, to get all the settings and access for the mouse. Now for the ROG Strix Impact 2 Pros, it is a less expensive option for its tier. I believe um, ROG designed this one for an eSports um, level or entry-level eSports. 
Um, it also has a lot of features that the competition could not offer. But, um, yep, there's actually a big but. It doesn't have like its flagship feature or its unique feature. So it feels like it's just another budget gaming mouse. Anyway, other pros um, or the impact too would probably be its lightweight chassis. Again, it is lighter than its predecessor, the Impact 1. The mouse switch is replaceable, which is an awesome feature. The plastic cover is translucent, which is um, pretty cool um, to me. Now for the AuraSync feature or the LED patterns that you can set in the Armory crate, um, well, I'll actually just show you, so enjoy the B-roll.
So that's it guys, hopefully you found value in this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Click that notification bell so you'll be updated on my latest videos. See you on the next one. Adios.